Okay, peeps. So, uh, a quick video on facial features. So, your eyes. Let's start with the eyes. They're usually in almond shape, okay? More or less like this. So, you know, practicing the almond shape is always a good idea. There's different types of eyes. They, you know, different shapes of eyes, but pretty much they're almondy. Now, the the iris, which is the colored part of your eye, and the pupil, they actually go behind the eyelid. If you guys um, know, like if you were going to open up your eyes really wide, your eyeballs would kind of pop out. So if I was going to really do an eyeball, the eyeball would kind of go like something like that. All right? So the eyeball is covered, at least half of it, by the eyelid. So I'm, I'm drawing a round shape. Don't draw anything that's not round. It should be completely round. And then I'm going to turn it into a bagel by drawing the um, pupil, okay? Now, if you notice, I'm drawing the pupil exactly in the middle of that eye, okay? And the pupil should be round, too. Don't make it a dot, all right? And don't make it huge. You know what that means. All right. So I'm going to erase the top, and you're going to see... Oh, I erased a little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. That most of these eyes look pretty good. Now, if you have the pupil hanging out like that, sometimes you look a little bit uh, scared. Okay? And then you put the eyelid on top, right? Um depending on what kind, all different kinds, there's heavy or light, okay, then when you do eyelashes, again, they go to the side, okay, because we want to make sure that they don't look weird. So that is basically your, um, your eyes. Okay, second, we're going to go into the nose. Now, the nose basically is a shape that I always start kind of like that because the important thing to do when something is complicated to draw is to simplify it and then at the bottom of it it kind of is going to look like you know a uh, Deathly Hollows kind of thing um, I put something that looks like this okay your nostrils are going to go here so that's the basic shape of your nose I'm going to start again start with one of these right you make a little Deathly Hollows thing here you round off the edges okay and then you pretty much have a nose so let me show you why that's gonna look like a nose in a minute let me just uh, lower the opacity so that you can see how it's gonna look okay and add another layer I'm all good okay so when I'm doing the nose this dot and this dot are the nostrils so I kinda go down here around as you can see, it looks like a nose, okay? Same here. I'm just going to go up and down like that. And as you can see, that kind of looks like a nose, okay? So the mouth. Um, you can start with the center line of the mouth. If you notice, it dips in the middle a little bit. And then you have these two things that kind of go up like that. So that would be the, the nose right up there, okay? Um, people draw mouths differently. So you have this kind of thing here where there's different parts of the mouth, but really you could start with a line, go up and down, kind of like an M that's stretched, and then do the bottom lip here. And then later you can get fancy with it and kind of do all kinds of nice things. So that basically is your eyes and your nose and your mouth. So again, with the eye, make sure that most of, you know, a lot of the eyes covered. Make sure that you don't see your whole pupil or you're going to look scared. Then you have all these cool things in there, right? You have your eyelid. Now your eyebrows are usually a bunch of hairs, so don't just do a line for your eyebrows, okay? Also for your mouth, don't, um, I don't know, don't do these weird mouths that I pe see people do. Really try to do a nice one there. And again, for the nose, you start with your triangle, a long one. I'm sure there's a name for it. I forgot. You round off the corners. You do two little frowny faces here. And then you have basically the start of your nose. And those are your facial features. Oh, your ear. Let's, okay, so if I was going to do your ear just regular, it looked 
probably something like this, right? But since we're looking face forward, um, I just kind of do like a, a violin shape. And then I just do part of the ear. And I'm going to do that again because I did that really quickly. Again, we see the front, so I go bigger and then smaller. Then I do a line that kind of goes like that. The little flap in front of your ear, I'm sure it has a name. I don't know what it is. And these here are your features. And that's it.